Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, shall we? Alright, so, looking at this, you know, the holidays, all of that, it's been a little bit difficult to get a stream going with family and everything that happens but I wanted to pop in and try and finish this deep elf so this deep elf of rue that we have began as a conjurer and we are kind of in the process of trying to get the rune from the vaults we have the rune um, from Let's see. We have two runes, right? Um, we have the Decaying Rune and the Gossamer Rune. So, we are in good shape. Our character is 20th level. We're currently training spellcasting and spellcasting alone. I suppose just to get more spell points, although it's gravy at this point. Our spells are insane. Um, we have... Uh, orbit Destruction, Ignition, Toxic Radiance, Ignite Poison, Blink, and uh, Crystal Spear. Just, you know, thrumming along. Um, and we're ready to go. Hey, Enon. Hello, my friend. So good to see you. How you doing? And we cleared out, like, where I ended last time with this character was we kind of had dipped into vaults five and cleared out the entryway and so now it's just time to go into each pocket take down the enemies and um find that rune um and our gear is pretty legit let's see anything i want to any scrolls i want to read no. Any potions I want to drink? Not really. Okay. So let me just kind of step down. And there's no enemies that we see right when we go down. It's just... Um, excellent, Enon. Excellent. Glad to hear it, my friend. Hope the holiday season is treating you nicely. Now... Um, it's just a treasure trove here of dead bodies and that's you know a good position to be in so we have um, gear just pretty much all over the place and no enemies so that's a good start to this Okay, so let me take a look, and I don't really know much of this. I could read magic mapping. How many do I have? And there's no point. I'm going to map it all out anyway. Let's just say... I don't know. Let's go upper right first, and then just move clockwise. So we're going to go kind of... We'll go like this. And I'm going to move around... All right, and we'll know immediately when we detect enemies, but I'm not really stealthy. Oh, okay, there's a Deep Elf High Priest. All right, so he's um, standing there, and he wants to make a sacrifice of me. Um, let me remind myself, what does this guy got us up his sleeve? He wants to smite me, call down damnation... All kinds of bad stuff. So what we're going to do is just... Um, I think that... Orb of Destruction... If it hits... Should be okay. Um, ah, it hit the wall, huh? Alright, let's try this again. Alright, he's dead. 
and we'll just go at the Vault Warden with this. There's a Deep Elf Knight that's behind me, so I'm going to, um, uh, let's see, Toxic Radiance, oops, wrong spell, and we'll just ignite the poison in this guy, I think, should probably take him out, oh, he vanished, okay, I'm actually going to move over here, and, um, hey, hey, Neo, how's it going, my friend, good to see you, I'm going to cast, um, I'm going to cast Toxic Radiance, even though I can't see. And then um, Ignite Poison again. And hopefully, we kill most of this stuff. The Yaktar Captain is still trying to cause me problems. And he did. He blasted me for a huge amount of damage with his bolt. Um, but then we killed him. And he did. He hit us again. So he did about... 50 damage to us which just you know shows the power I believe they boosted the Yaktar uh, in a maybe 2.6 or 2.7 no maybe it was just centaurs anyway Yaktar captains with a crossbow can hit really really hard I'm gonna poison this guy and then just blow him up thing is if, if people can get poisoned on them with my fire magic skill and my staff of fire magic or just staff of fire rather we're going to just annihilate most of them okay so let me keep going up to this way okay there's a sphinx um we've got the sphinx poisoned and then um yeah okay dead just if the sphinx can get poisoned which it did then we're okay and we'll just blow this up. What is this? This is the plus two helmet of action. Indeed. Not very good for us, but always fun to look at artifact items. And here comes a fire giant. So the fire giant says to me, um, I don't care about poison. And I don't care about a lot of what I can do, but... I should be able to just roll an orb of destruction at him. And I did. And then I think Crystal Spear can just finish this guy off. It did. I have two pips of fire resistance. So, oh, there's potentially the rune right there. Indeed. Got the silver rune. So now we have three runes. And we're ready to go to Zot's uh, realm and try to get this rune. Enon, I do. Um, I won with Rue a long time ago, my friend, but it's a good question. And, you know, what's amazing about Rue, this game, is that... And this is kind of like Snackman's point about Rue that I never really understood. Whenever I evaluate Rue in the past, I always just looked at Apocalypse and thought, Oh my god. What an amazing ability. And it is, don't get me wrong. But that's because I was mostly coming from a melee character background where hitting everything on the screen was just not really much of an option um, outside of evocables and stuff like that. Um, he's extremely demanding. I haven't actually made my final sacrifice to try to get six pips, but where the gravy came in, Enon, for Rue is with the passives. The passive abilities that stun enemies just add up over time. And then I've used Power Leap to escape, and it's pretty cool as like a controlled blink. But then Draw Out Power is a great way um, to get magic points if I need them. Now with this character, I haven't actually needed them, but as an emergency, I have it there. Now we are wearing, in terms of armor... Um, just plus two robe of the Arch Magi, and we've been wearing that forever. We've got the Hat of uh, Pondering. And I guess if I was going to try to find anything, maybe an artifact, you know, amulet or whatever. 
Uh, but for now, what are these boots? Boots of stealth, positive energy. Ah, uh, the old singing sword, hilarious. Our gear is actually pretty good with this character. Hey, hey, Dr. Octagonopus, what is up, my friend? Thank you so much. I hope you had a great holiday as well. I tell you what, I did have a great holiday. It was um, just great to spend time with the family, um, play some board games, uh, relax, watch some movies together, and just generally chill. And that was so awesome. I'm just picking up some extra thing. Like, this scroll of blinking is tremendous. Just some extra things that may or may not help me um, as I pursue. Um, I already have a staff of conjuration. I already have a staff of poison. I don't really need a staff of ice. But as I push for Zot, I'm going to want, you know... Um, some more stuff. I'm just going to crystal spear the guy. If I'm at that range, you know, why not? Um, oh, you know what, Enon? I love Euchre. Uh, Euchre is a game I played a ton when I was uh, younger. I haven't taught that game uh, yet to my children, but no, we were playing... Um, We like to play Marvel Champions, which is a uh, living card game, board game, that's kind of like a cooperative uh, game where you get to be a Marvel hero and you you have a deck and um, it's a lot of fun. You play against villains uh, as a team together, and then uh, we we got Harry Potter Clue uh, for Christmas and. Clue is a like you know pretty fun game teaches like deductive reasoning, but the Harry Potter uh, version um, is cool because uh, it's um, nice and it like adds some stuff and has cool fan service. So um, I enjoyed it. Hey, hey, bloody, what is up, my friend? How's it going? Good to see you. All right, so we got some nice stuff there, and we're not necessarily close to a level, but I'll take just killing some stuff here. Okay, so in this spot, I think we just crystal spear this guy. Eh, we'll just orbit destruction, and then, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. What is going on here? I don't know why. It's like I felt like I went berserk, but I don't understand what happened. Um, anyway. Hey, hey, Fence. What is up, my friend? How's it going? Alright, let's see if we can get some more experience. Oh, I'm being pushed around by a storm dragon. Something is... Here, let me click on this. I don't know what's going on. Um, There we go. Oh, I see what's going on. Um, ah, nice. Hades is so good, bloody. I really appreciate the offer, bloody, but I am currently in a D and D campaign, um, and I do not like uh, being in too many at once. All right.
Let's see here. My inventory is full, so I got to drop. Got to drop some stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I just don't need a ring of fire or ice or positive energy or willpower. I'm just going to ditch those. And let's see, there's a spell book, which is cool. File of Floods, do I have that? Now, this is actually sometimes useful. Oh, the Ogre Mage. The Ogre Mage can banish you. Or at least, I think they can. Alright. And, oh boy, the old Okie Doke. Alright, there we go. And there. That was a crystal spear. We're just throwing out, like, amazingly big spells at people for fun. Hey, hey, Snack. What is up, my friend? Good evening. They can't banish anymore? Oh, good. They used to be able to. I just, like... I think I have PTSD from getting banished by um, an ogre mage. You know what it is, but they can't, but can um, all ogre magi have paralyzed and the wizards have banished? I see, they switched that around. But can, does Arolka still banish? She always strikes me as like an ogre m mage, kind of. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I didn't get banished. We're doing okay. Let's explore this. Let's finish this. We're looking for all the treasure. Now, there's Storm Dragon Scales, which, you know. Oh, she has the Wizard Spell set, so then she definitely can. Take that. Oh, that's right. My Orb of Destruction hit the metal wall. I think I might not want to do that. A highly enchanted great club sounds terrifying. Hey, bloody, I really appreciate the offer, my friend. Thank you for thinking of me. I do love to laugh, and I do enjoy D&D. I'm having so much fun with 5th uh, edition D&D that I actually might purchase the player's handbook. I don't think I've owned a player's handbook since 3rd edition. And, and with like the, re the web resources, 5e tools, D&D &D Beyond and stuff, it's almost like you don't necessarily need them, but meh, still like to have them. All right, and what is this? The Manual of Bows. Oh, you got it. We can pivot to an archer. All right, let's finish this place. I'm mapping the whole thing. There we go. And that's it. Fantastic. Um, I think it's time to go to Zot. Oh, but we have to go to the depths? Have we not done the depths? Oh, well, we gotta clear the depths. Never mind. Everything I said, take it back. Oh, God. Those times when Crystal Spear misses just don't feel good. Man, that Bone Dragon is no joke. Quicksilver Dragon Simulacrum. Well, what do you think about a crystal spear? Pretty good, huh? I know. I like it. All right. Um, I could just blast you with Bolt of Magma. Oh, God. Look at that. 
Hey, fence players, what is up, my friend? Try Baldur's Gate or Dragon Age sometime? I'll tell you what. So I beat the first two or three Dragon Age games, really enjoyed them, and I've beaten Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I haven't played the early access Baldur's Gate 3 yet, waiting for full release, but I did have a buddy on my... Um, for the holidays, he gave me a... The spiritual successor to Planescape Torment. I think it's just called Torment Tides of Numeria, maybe? Um, and that's a kind of like a Baldur's Gate-ish game, and I might try that one. Bum, bum, bum. Don't test me. Hey, hey. Curried favor. What is up, my friend? We are crawling. Good to see you. How you doing? We're doing our best. I've been thinking about this character because, you know, knock on wood because things are so dangerous, but in this game, but I am trying to see if I can get a win, my first win with a deep elf. Now, um, Enon was asking earlier if this is my first win with Rue, and it's not. It would be my second win with Rue. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just ignition this group. Oh, you know what, Curried Favor? Isn't that funny that it does 100%? Dark Souls is so fantastic and yet so brutal. It's like there is experience in that game, and you do level up in that game. But really, in my opinion, the way that you actually level up in Dark Souls is by learning and getting good at the combat and the timing. And then you're ready to go. But very similar, Curry, to your point, to this game would just be the fact that... Uh, there we go. In Dark Souls, even regular enemies can own you if you slip up. Just like if you kind of, you know, forget to respect something in this game, the game will just punish you for it. Bam, take that. <laughs> Wait. Bloody, I hope you mean in the game and not in real life because the uh, the pencil in the nose is can be just devastating in real life oh here they come everybody thanks for that Miguel um, you've been reported my god these YouTube bots are just out out to get me Exactly. That's the point. 100% current favor. I agree with you. If you lose focus or if you're playing tired, the game will destroy you. And that's happened in this game, even on stream. Like if I try to make the stream, if I try to go too long on the stream and I start zoning out, I've had some deaths, you know, when I just should stop playing. Yeah, exactly, Snack. He just really wanted to tell everyone about how much they love the Vine Stalker Scald. All right, let's see if there's anything good in this jewelry shop. How about that ring? You know, the, the AC plus four ring is pretty good. That ring of the tortoise, though, is also pretty insane. So, I can't see invisible. Um, it 
Yeah, Ring of the Tortoise is ridiculous. I mean, like, eight armor class is such a game changer. Look, this is, like, honestly... You know what it is, um, Enon. They did not... I am playing the game on um, a different resolution, so it's my fault. If it's too hard to see, um, just let me know. I have, like... What happened was, um, for Christmas, I got a 4K monitor, and so I'm playing at 4K, but I have the, the game zoomed in, so you should still be able to see the tiles the same. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if that was a, anyway, so I apologize for that. This shop is a fantastic shop. Yeah, I haven't seen a, uh, there's four, uh, no, there's five artifact items at this shop. Pretty good. Let me look at what I'm wearing. So, I have on, you know, this ring right here, which I guess I'm just using for, uh, intelligence and will and resist cold but I could flop this out for you know the tortoise ring if I wanted it would it would take away my my will is like really high so it's not absolutely essential it would take away my singular pip of resist cold, which is a consideration. Um, but I don't know how much of a consideration in Zod. Maybe for the Draconians, I don't know. So. Let's go ahead and get this ring here. And then I can put on like some of these others just you know, for the shopping list. I'll put on this ring and I'm going to go ahead and then say I would like to replace um, this bottom ring. Now, I need to check um, how my spells went. They're the same. Okay, we're good. Cold got a little less common in the new Zot. Okay, well, that's not bad at all. Good thing to hear. Ooh, Vampire. All right. Hey, Vampire. That's Crystal Spear. So, yep. That's a cool little vault right there. <laughs> nice, bloody. Yeah, goblins and explosions seem to go hand in hand. OPGB. Interesting. All right, we got some stone giants. Let me just toxic radiance and then ignite poison a couple times. Should do the trick. Oh, I see. <laughs> 